Alright everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install OSMC or Open Source Media Center onto Raspberry Pi. This works for both the first gen and second gen and uh, you can actually do it with a lot of other things like an Apple TV or Linux or like other random stuff but today we're just going to be concentrating on the Raspberry Pi. So you want to come to this website and I will put all the links in the description below so check that out. Click on Raspberry Pi, uh, click on Windows and you'll come to this page Download the self-installer, self-extract installer, click here. So you'd click there to download it. And um, I ain't actually going to do that because I've already downloaded it just for speed this up a bit. So you click there and then press save and save that. And um, then what you want to do is put your SD card into your computer. Make sure it's not got anything on it. So I know mine hasn't because I've already formatted it. So you're probably going to want to format it, which you can do just by pretty much right clicking on the SD card and then clicking format and then doing the default fat thing. Just ignore all this because it's not set correctly. So go to where you save the installer and then just sort of open it up and just click yes. You may get a problem here where your antivirus will come up and go, uh, it's not got a lot of reputation. This is just because I haven't been out for very long. So you can either let it past your firewall, which is what I did, or you can just click on screen now and I'll show you the other way of doing it, which takes a little bit longer and you need to download another program, but it's not really that hard. It's quite easy to do. So we click yes. Um, set your language, English. Uh, Raspberry Pi, the first one, mine's first gen, but if you've got a second gen, it's exactly the same sort of setup. Uh, select what version you would like, there's only one available. Uh, you can actually use a, just ignore that, just leave it alone. And onto an SD card. Now this is important because when you put this SD card into your Raspberry Pi after doing all this setup, it will need to connect to the internet to sort stuff out so you need to set this up correctly I do have a wireless connection but I'm just going to leave it for wired because otherwise you've got to enter all your SSID and your password and stuff and I'm just going to like plug my Pi in and do that bit later within the actual Raspberry Pi once it's set up so I'm going to click next and then it will give you a device now I always think it's good to have your computer part open here so you can see exactly what you want to be putting onto it. Again, ignore the um, megabyte here, it's actually wrong. This is actually an 8 gigabyte card, but for some reason it's partitioned real weird. But it does actually have, as you can see, near enough 8 gigs on it. So I'm going to click on that, click next, and accept the uh, end, u end user license agreement, and next. Uh, yeah, I already downloaded it earlier, but do you know to like, do this video? So now you just need to wait until this is done. It's going to take quite a while because it's got to download this software. So just I'm just going to skip past this and you'll probably join me when it's finished. Okay, so it'll now install and then once it's installed, it'll uh, ask you if you're sure that you actually want to do this. So obviously just click yes. And then it'll write the image onto the device. So basically that's just obviously putting what it's downloaded onto the SD card. This will again take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take too long to be fair. Again, I'll skip past it though. Right, and that's it done. So we've installed it onto the SD card, so we can now just quit this application. So it's removable disk E, and we just need to right click and eject just so no damage happens to it. And then you can safely remove your SSD, uh, your SD card. Alright then, so once you've uh, taken your SD card out and it's properly flashed and everything, what you need to do is set up your Pi. So obviously you need a HDMI cable, go into your uh, display, and you're also going to need a Ethernet cable if you're not doing this over Wi-Fi. If you are doing this over Wi-Fi, you're going to need like a little dongle like this one, but I'm not going to be using mine because I'm just going to plug it in with this cable instead. Uh, you need your power lead, and obviously a way of controlling it, so I've just got a little dongle here to this keyboard but if you've just got a plug-in keyboard then it's fine so I'm just going to kind of like assemble all this together now and the most important part which is your SD card you want it to go in which is here make sure you obviously put this the right way around so if I sort of like turn it around it's a bit awkward with the camera in my hand, I apologise Focus. So this wants to go in 
this way so the pins on the back of the SD card touch the pins on there so you want to kind of slide that in now I know some people might not have a case but uh, same principle so it should fit fairly um, snugly in there and then once you've done that you can uh, plug your power lead in and turn the power on so I'm just going to do that now and you know you've uh, plugged it in properly when you see these little lights come on in the corner over here. Should be like a little red light. And if you go over to uh, whatever you're displaying on, so your TV or whatever. And wait a second. And here we go. So as you can see, uh, the device has been formatted. Then the uh, file install will occur. Okay, so you get a few screens like this where it's like installing files or prepare and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you them and then just sort of skip past so you don't obviously have to wait around. And then you'll get a message saying that um, OSMC has been installed successfully and you know you've done alright. So once you've reached this point, you're pretty much fine, you won't get any problems. And you will get a black screen because it will restart once it's finished the installation process. So don't worry, this is all perfectly normal. It'll just reboot through. And then when it launches this time, though, you will get your sort of standard, uh, uh, what's it called? Home screen. And here we are. So you've installed it all correctly. If I just grab my keyboard, we can um, navigate around, get videos, music, pictures. And uh, you'll probably be welcome with one of these, which is just, I mean, I'm sure you can all figure this out. Uh, you need to uh, agree to the software license, which is a bit annoying. There we go. Now we are completely set up. So, finish. And there we are. So now we are finished. If this video helped you, please leave a like and comment if you need any help or anything. I'll try and do my best to answer all the comments. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy your new OSMC Raspberry Pi.